Yo, what's up, everybody? Today, I wanted to talk about some of probably the most important community-made tools if you're actually looking to push keys. I know for some people, you know, getting into pushing keys, you kind of don't know where to start. There's obviously, you know, weak aura packs. There's obviously, like, add-ons that you'll probably end up wanting. Um, but there's a couple of community-made tools that are not inside the game or not, like, you know, weak auras or, or add-ons or stuff like that that are very valuable for high-end key pushing that people don't necessarily understand until they're told about it, right? And it kind of only spreads via word of mouth. And so I kind of want to take some time today to kind of showcase and spotlight two tools that are made by uh, high-end key pusher Ordemus. Uh, plays Mistweaver Monk, very nice guy. And he's made and contributed actually a lot to being able to push high keys. First and foremost is the website Not Even Close. So Not Even Close is basically a one-shot calculator where you're able to input your stats of your character into the game. And then once you input your stats of the character into the game, then you're able to you know, check out, oh, am I going to get one shot by deafening Screech 5? Like, how much damage is this realistically going to do to me? You're able to calc it on Fortified versus Tyrannical and, and just be able to te test how much damage it does. Now, there's also an add-on for not even close. So if you don't want to manually input all of your stats, so if you had to... Previously, you'd have to manually input like your stamina, your versatility, that kind of thing. If you don't want to manually input your stats, you can actually use an add-on that's on CurseForge for not even close, and this will be linked down in the description as well, where you can actually import your character's stats into the game. And so by typing slash NEC, you'll get like this, this prompt, and then you'll be able to paste your stats in from the add-on, and then you're able to calc basically uh, how much the overkill is going to be on specific things there. Then you'll... First off, you'll probably click like what party buffs you're going to have active on yourself, like Mark of the Wild, Fortitude. You know, these give some damage. If you have Tepid Versatility, that's going to be some damage reduction. And then you start clicking like, oh, okay, how many defenses do I reasonably need to press here before I start dying? And um, I think one of the big things too is like, especially with Broodkeeper Ring and, and like passive shielding that you can get from Broodkeeper Ring as well, being able to quickly know oh, how much, is, how much damage is this actually going to do, right? Uh, especially post-versatility mit and like without like any real mitigation, like how much damage is this going to do to me? That's actually very valuable, especially for things that are maybe a little bit closer. Obviously, I don't think that Deafening Screech 5 is like that uh, grave example, but like for Noku Defensive, say the Gale Arrow, right? Uh, say it's only doing, you know, 1.9 million damage um, actual mit after mitigation, after versatility mitigation and stuff like that. Then it's like, oh, okay, if I have the Broodkeeper ring proc and my starting health is 500k, if I get this ring proc, how much more mitigation do I need, right? Like, can I get a power word shield on top of that? And that by itself is just going to be enough. And that kind of helps you be able to figure out just about how much damage you're going to be taking. And I think this tool is incredibly powerful for being able to calc one shots, especially since the past couple of seasons have been really one shot heavy. This season also continues to be a little bit one shot heavy, even if you go through like, you know, click a lot of the things it's like oh, okay what are we what are we actually going to be one shot by you know deafening screech um you know stuff like that the stomp with one flower like you're able to like really understand uh, and figure out how much damage you're going to be taking now the next tool that's made by ordemus is a website called three chess.io and so there is a website called keystone.guru and I think that this is just a, a general better version of keystone.guru as it currently stands so this um, from talking to Ordemus is made very similar design wise to MDT. So there's a couple of key differences between this and Keystone.guru. First and foremost, um, everything basically translates perfectly one to one from ReachS.io from MDT, including like drawing. So you have like these arrows and you have these drawings on this. If I actually export this and then import it into, into this, you actually continue to maintain these drawings in your, in your thing. Um, and so that actually helps. Another big thing that Keystone.Guru doesn't have that this does have is it actually has the abilities and it has their ability IDs off to the side. So that way you're able to actually tell, you know, how much damage an ability is supposed to reasonably do um, or, or how much damage, you know, what, what is the base damage of this ability. And I think that this is a better way of looking at these routing um, than Keystone.Guru. On top of that, they do have like collaborative mode and um, live routes where... You know, this is this is actually super sick where you're you're actually looking through the polls and going through the live routes and kind of seeing what players are doing. But not only that, but uh, whenever you exit live route, um, you're able to like start a collaborative mode with other people, you know, link the collaborative room to other players. That way you guys can like click uh, mobs together and actually map out a route um, 
just together. And I think that this is a great way of routing outside of the dungeons whenever you're not actively playing the game. Because I think there's a lot of times where you'll be sitting in class, or you'll be sitting at work or whatever, and you'll be kind of thinking about a route and you'll be like, oh, maybe this is good. Maybe this, maybe this isn't going to have enough count. And that kind of thing is kind of important. Um, whereas a lot of the times, like doing something like this and like just in your free time, routing is going to make you a significantly better player. There's also some sample routes that Ortimus has programmed in. Ortimus, again, he is a, he was a 4,000 IO player last season, one of the top healers in NA, or maybe he's a 3,900 IO healer last season. I think he's 3,900, I don't think he's 4K. Um, but the guy is insanely good, uh, nonetheless. And so even these beginner routes for him, um, these are super sick. Now, beginner routes aren't necessarily in line with people who are trying to push title for every single season. Uh, but in just in general, I think that these routes and just this website as a whole should definitely be used if you're looking to play the game at any serious level. I think that both this and Not Even Close are excellent, excellent community resources, and that's why I want to make a video talking about them today. Um, I hope it helps. I know I'm not necessarily playing a ton this season, but I, I would say make sure to be looking at Not Even Close and 3chess.io coming next season and more within as well, and just like know that this is a resource that is going to be out there for you to be able to you know route the dungeons a lot easier and to calc uh, whether or not you're going to live mechanics. I hope it helps. I hope to see you guys in the next video, and I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.